So today I'm gonna be teaching how to delete two instance in one click. Just click this checkbox and then instantiate, terminate instance, terminate, and that's it. Hello guys, how you doing? Today is not gonna be a tutorial. This is going to be a speed run on deploying Laravel with EC2 instance and RDS. Let's start this now. The first thing to do is create a new instance. Free tier, okay. Amazon Linux 2 AMI. Next, go to security group. Let's put this speedrun SSH anywhere so that you guys can access my server and run bitcoins. HTTPS, HTTP. Where is that? There it is. Okay, anywhere and anywhere, so that why may so that my website is going to be uh, available for everyone. I already have a K pair. I'm gonna use that. Let's view the instance. So while we are waiting, uh, let me put some labels here. Spell them. <laughs> So while we are waiting, let's create an Elastic IP. Allocate, allocate, and this one is not yet associated. Let's try shifting this to our newly created instance. Speedrun, that's correct. Good thing we put labels. I'm in a hurry. So in this one, let's create an RDS, speedrun RDS, this is for our database, for database permissions. So for the database, what we need is MySQL and anyone can connect to that so that your MySQL workbench and EC2 instance can connect to this RDS. Let's create that. Okay, now that's created. Let's check our EC2 instance. So it's still checking the status. While we're waiting for that, let's prepare our RDS. Okay, so let's choose standard. MySQL and then let's wait. There's going to be a hidden card here. Wait for it. Okay, there it is. Free tier. So if you choose production or dev test, it's going to charge you 800 US dollars per month. And let's use let's put this speed run. And I'm gonna put this root. And I I already have password prepared. Uh, switch this on and use free tier. And then additional connectivity configuration public yes. Uh, where is the security groups? Did I miss it? Security groups. Hmm can't find it. Oh, there it is. Let's use the speedrun RDS and remove this one. And that's it. We are good to go. So while our database is being created, let's go back to our EC2 instance. Uh, let's check the time. Or Okay, so 4 minutes. Uh, let's try to connect. I am using PowerShell CD to my PIM key. So this is where I put my PIM key. Okay. Yes, of course. So now that I'm in, let's try running this with dash Y. 
install. So Amazon has now a new feature, Amazon Linux Extras. This one, uh, some libraries have already been installed. All you have to do is enable them, just like this one. Amazon is slowing me down. Oh, come on. Okay, there it is. Now, as you can see, these are some of the libraries already installed. All you have to do is enable this one. Next is... Amazon said that you have to run these codes and this one, so I, I already have mine prepared. Okay, so I'll be using this because Laravel is going to need these libraries in BString and other things. This one is incomplete. Let's also install our get. Six minutes already. Next is install composer faster. Let's check our PHP version if it's working. Okay, 7.4. Now let's correct our dependencies installation will take some time. So we'll have to set some proper permission on our files. Now let's go to var wwhml the standard. And then let's get Laravel latest. Okay, looking good. Let's install the libraries dependencies packages all right now that's done wait that's done okay let's create an en environment generate the key so we need to also edit the db house Press I. DB, DB host is coming from the RDS. Let's check if it's done processing. I hope it's done. Okay. So there it is. Let's look for the endpoint. There's no one. Oops. Database is hmm. Pitrim. Why is it Pitrim? Root and then the password would be this one. Okay, now that's set up. Next. Set up the host. Let's go to this file. Let's go at the bottom. Bottom of this file. Oh, so far. I'm gonna paste this thing where my 
Laravel is installed var ww html speedrun so I guess this is correct mm -hmm. right and quit let's run Apache and PHP enable it okay so let's check if this is working the moment of truth guys don't jinx it oh permission denied okay hmm. okay Laravel we need to search mode that one search mode storage is it and then it's working so now that we know Laravel it's is working the next thing to do is find out if RDS is still working let's check the time 11 minutes already uh, let's create a connection MySQL speedrun and then yellow this thing the host is still the same the one this one the host port username password database we don't have a database yet okay connection is okay so if we do migration php artisan migrate it's going to cause an error you know why because speedrun is not yet existed we have to create that database speedrun let's choose this open so now that we have created it this should run I hope it works okay yeah it works refresh so I'm using table plus Table Plus is under MAMP company. MAMP Pro. It's the same with MySQL Workbench. So it's simple. Okay, so we have a working database and we have a working Laravel. So I think that's done. Let's stop. Let's stop. So we managed to create deploy a Laravel with EC2 instance with Elastic IP with a running RDS in under 14 minutes. I hope everyone enjoyed it and learned from it. Create new techniques and be efficient in deploying Laravel and EC2 instance. Thank you.